Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are unboxing my January Ipsy box. It's the first one of 2024. So I'm super excited to be unboxing this with you guys and seeing what we got in here. So that's what today's gonna be all about. Before we get into that though, please give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Join the family, thank you so much if you do. But if you wanna see me unbox this, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay guys, I wanna get right into this because I'm really, really excited to see what little surprises we got. As usual, I did like take the tab off of this that had the box sealed just cause I don't wanna like fidget with it while I'm on camera, but I didn't peek, I promise. I do not know what is in this box as usual. So we're in this together. So we are going to open this baby up. It has the Instagram handle and like the little Instagram, Facebook and TikTok logos. And then you open it up and it just says Ipsy on the inside. And then we've got the little like newsletter that they do and I'm just gonna scan the little barcode so I could see, right, so I could pull up the page to like the descriptions of what is in my box. Okay, first up we have Context Skin, new brand to me. It's the dual lip pencil and locked in, in locked in and forever free. So let me find that. I love how it's like all bubble wrapped put in there safely. And then let me open this up so I can see. Oh, so it's two lip liners. I literally love this because I feel like I run out of lip liners so quick. So this is really, really convenient to have a double-sided one. So I just swatched both. Locked in is like the darker shade right here. And then forever free is this like lighter nude. I almost feel like forever free looks similar to what I have on my lips right now. Let me see if I could just, I wanna like just glide it over. Yeah, it's almost the exact same color. That's actually awesome. It feels really, really soft and it like glided on. Obviously, it's a little bit harder to tell because I already had a um, lip liner on my lips. I didn't have anything else on, by the way. This is just, or was just lip liner. And then I just added this other one on top of it. So that, I guess that was pretty convenient, but it looks really pretty. It's really pigmented, glided onto my lips. It feels really, really comfortable. I'm a fan. I am very interested to see, like to continue using this and seeing what it does for me, but just a brief overview of what it is. So again, it's the dual lip pencil in Locked In, the darker one, and Forever Free, the one that I put on. Valued at $20, full sized. Uh, it says this dual ended lip liner is the ultimate sidekick for gorgeous lips. The precision tip makes defining and shaping a breeze, while the creamy formula allows you to blend to your heart's desire. So true, by the way. And I think I'm gonna play around with it a little more, like maybe like line the outer corner with this darker shade, or the outer parts of my lips, and then fill them in with the lighter one. I feel like that would be a really pretty combo. So I'm gonna keep playing with this, and I'll keep you guys posted, but so far, Love it, I am like loving lip products so far this year. And this is another one that I get to add to my collection. So very exciting. And then next up, we have Feel Beauty Squalane Facial Oil. All right, where are you? I need a good like face skincare product, you guys. I feel like my skin has been really, really not agreeing with me lately and with my wedding coming up in five and a half weeks since I'm filming this, we're getting down to the wire and I really need to do some good like skin prep. So be good to me, please. I just took it out of this little box. It came in this like almost like cardboard e box. It makes me feel like it's like an organic kind of product, but I guess we'll see. So here, this is squalane facial oil, sugar derived squalane 90% reduces wrinkles, vitamin C 2% to brighten skin. It's one fluid ounce, so like a standard size for a serum kind of a product. Says it goes for $36, it's full sized. 
This facial oil is armed with a superstar team of ingredients. We're talking squalane, rosehip oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, and French plum seed oil all in one bottle. It's basically a VIP treatment for your face, leaving you feeling all sorts of radiant and refreshed. And then it just says massage a few drops into your skin until it's absorbed. So I'm gonna take this plastic off and so we can see at least what this feels like. I can't really like put the oil on my face because I have makeup on, but just to see what it feels like. So it's like, it's literally clear, super watery. And then here it is swatched on the back of my hand. It feels really like for an oil, it feels really like thin and lightweight. Like it's not too thick and greasy. I hate that feeling with facial oils. This actually feels really nice and thin, but it's still like giving my skin that hydration. Like the back of my hand feels and looks really nice right now. So I'm very intrigued. Obviously, I am going to continue playing with this. I might try this tonight once I take my makeup off and see what it does for me because like I said, I need something. So yeah, next, Wing Me Cosmetics. It's their brow gel in clear. So let me see, let me read this description first. I keep getting ahead of myself because I'm like excited <laughs> to see and feel and try the products. Um, so this one is also, all three of these are new brands to me. This Feel, uh, Context, and Wing Me. All of them are new brands to me, so I'm very excited about that. This goes for $18, and I literally just bought a clear brown gel, brown, brow gel, and I didn't need to if I knew I was gonna be getting this, but I guess I don't know if it's good or not yet. It says, even the most unruly brows are no match for this gel. The matte formula keeps them in check and delivers a soft, flexible hold that never feels stiff or crunchy. Plus, it's vegan, cruelty-free, and formulated without ingredients like parabens, mineral oil, phthalates, formaldehyde releasers, and petroleum. And then it obviously just says swipe across, like in the direction of growth. Love this though. I feel like this packaging is really, really cute. I love the fact that this is clear. Maybe I won't once it starts to get a little bit dirtier, but right now I think it's really cute that it's like a clear frosted kind of packaging. And then you could see how much product you have left. I feel like that's such a struggle all the time with makeup products that are in like some kind of a tube because you cannot tell what you're doing. So I am a fan of this, but let's try it on my brows because I don't have anything besides like a powder on them. I just want to see if it's going to like wipe off the product that I have on my brows. Because that I don't like. I almost feel like it took off a little bit of the product that was like on the outer edge of my eyebrow, which I don't love when these kinds of products do that. But I do really, really love that it's matte. Like, it literally is matte. You know how with these kinds of products, you always get, like, that, um, like, shiny kind of residue that's left behind, and it almost makes your eyebrows look like you have, like, white hairs on your eyebrows. This is not doing that. Like, this is actually matte and makes it look like... I don't have anything on my eyebrows, like gel wise. It just looks like this is how my eyebrows are and they're like pretty stuck down. So I do really like that about this. I just think it did take off a little bit of the product from my brows. So I'm gonna keep messing with it and we'll see what happens. And then next up we have Gold Faden MD Doctors Scrub. This is also a new brand to me. Everything is new to me this time. This is a very interesting. So, okay, this goes for $70, pricey, and it says it's 90 milliliters, full-sized, so three fluid ounces. It is a scrub. It says this scrub features ruby crystals to help polish away dead surface skin, which helps to leave skin feeling brighter and tighter. Plus, it's formulated with hyaluronic acid for skin-quenching hydration that lasts. And then it just says massage a dime sized amount onto damp skin. And then you could do like on your um, chest and neck twice a week as well. So that is awesome. And then I wanna open this up. It looks very much like a doctor, um, 
brand kind of a skincare product if you know what I mean I feel like they always have that similar kind of aesthetic to them but I like it I think it looks nice I'm gonna do some right here just to see how it feels on the back of my hand comes off white uh, has like a little bit of a citrusy smell I like that and then yeah it just feels like a like an exfoliator like a sugar scrub almost feels really really nice actually like like I'm giving myself a little massage I'm excited to try this on my face because like I said earlier I desperately need some TLC on this face just my skin's not cooperating with me lately and something like this came just in time to hopefully help me with that so I'm gonna use this tonight and I will keep you guys posted in the near future and then we've got one more product to go so the last product is Ofra. I know this brand. Okay, we've got one brand in this month's box that I'm familiar with. So this is the Ofra Cosmetics Signature Luxe Palette. It goes for $32. It's full sized. It's an eyeshadow palette. Okay, from the picture, I thought it was going to be like a face palette. Um, it says, pop the champagne because this luxurious palette of rich mochas and shimmery bronzes will make you feel like you're living your best glam life with shades like truffle, a warm light brown, and divine, a warm metallic bronze. You have endless options for creating golden looks for any occasion. So, uh, they're speaking my language with this palette because you guys know I love my neutrals and my browns. So I'm just gonna open this up and see what this looks like. It's just like a cardboard outside. So like the quality of the packaging is nothing special. It's not the best. Uh, and then these actual shades. They look really pretty actually. Like these are exactly the kind of browns that I would grab for. They're like warm, warm toned browns, which I really, really love. So I wanna take a little bit, or actually I need to swatch these first. I'm getting carried away. Okay, I am back. I have some swatches on my arm. I do have some thoughts. I feel like they were all really nice and soft to the touch. I felt like the mattes were soft but they almost had a little bit of the, like a scratchiness to them um i feel like they are pretty pigmented i was really impressed with that and i love like again the undertones the actual shades everything only downside i feel like these two shimmers like this one right here and then this one are so similar they almost look like the exact same color i don't know if you guys can tell in the actual palette like this one and then this one like they look different in the palette for the most part but then on my arm they look almost exactly the same so i don't know i do wish there was like a little bit more of a variety there like i don't think they needed to be that close in color but that's a very small thing so i am going to just take like a fluffy blender brush i'm just gonna go into this like lighter shade this first one and i'm just gonna apply all over just to see how the payoff is. And then I'm just gonna take this like middle sparkly shade and just put a little bit on my lids. Okay, here's the finished product. I actually really, really love how these applied. I feel like this brown melted into my crease and my eyelids and everything and blended out so, so nicely. The champagne-y shimmer color is very pigmented. A little goes a long, long way, so I had to blend out a little bit. But it looks really pretty. These two colors look really nice together. So I am a fan, minus like the couple little downsides that I had with the palette. I actually do think it's really nice. So I enjoyed it. I think everything that I got in this month's box has been like a really exciting product, like things that I'm actually very excited to keep trying out and using once the camera is off. So this month's box, first one of 2024, was a success. Yay, can't wait for the next one. But that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment though, as usual, let me know what you guys got in your boxes, if we got the same things, if we got something totally different. Let me know. Um, let me know what else you guys wanna see from me. Give this a huge thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.